let's see, there's a question. I haven't, if I have an interface, if I have interface methods and implementations based off them, which do the data fetching, does the interface method count as a facade pattern? It, it really depends. So if we're talking about object-oriented design, I'd be inclined to say that you kind of have to consider the, um, the whole interface as the facade um, itself from like a, a UML, Unified Modeling Language, I think it's called, perspective. Um, let me just define the facade pattern for the people watching so that everyone can kind of follow along here. The facade pattern uses an abstraction. So this could either be an interface or abstract class. Generally speaking, it's going to be an interface. The facade pattern uses, uses an abstraction to hide the implement, implementation details of a subsystem from the client, so class or classes that use the subsystem. So to take a direct example here, we hide the implementation details of the back end from the front end. So in this case, the front end would be the client. And this word client, in case you're wondering, it means the thing that uses another thing. So um, the in the context of computer networking, the server would be the server, the client would be your computer that asks the server for the data. We can also think of it as like the front end calls these interface methods. So we can think of the front end as the um, client of the back end. So um, again, in strict sort of object oriented thinking, um, I'd be inclined to say the whole interface just by way of the fact that we're, we're referencing it from the, let's say, a, let's look at day view logic. Because we have to hold reference to the whole interface in a sort of a object oriented style programming, I'd be inclined to say that you have to look at it as being the whole interface is the facade, but you, I, th I think you're not entirely wrong in how you're approaching that, that you can, yeah, depending on how you set things up, you could kind of consider the uh, functions as, um, in a sense, fulfilling the definition of the facade pattern. Uh, Ravi says, this is God level abstraction, being able to switch or use XML or JSON files if we have to without touching other parts of the app is great. And yeah, you're exactly right about that. Um, we, I, you know, I used to get carried away with abstraction, but anytime I expect something to change is exactly when I will use abstraction. And in the case, I fully expect to not use um, this preload data class in later iterations of this application. Uh, and I po quite probably won't use the file system storage as I allow the user to basically define and create their own uh, data models. So for that reason, that's why I'm hiding these details from the front end of the application uh, by using interfaces.